Hello, friends. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, friends. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. From whatever part of the world you are joining us from, welcome. It's nice to have you with us. This month, we are talking about repentance. Yes, repentance. Luke 5, 32 says, I have not called to call the righteous. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus has not called, come to call the perfect one. He has come to call you. Yes, you to repentance. He has come to call sinners to repentance. Not those who think they are they have had it all, not the th th things that are perfect. And again, in Acts 20, verse 21, the Bible says, I have declared to both Jews and Greek that they must turn to God in repentance and have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. God wanted to come to repentance and he wanted to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is calling you. He wants you. He wants your heart. He wants you to come before him to repent and have faith and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is a sacrificial lamb for our sins. And I want you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to quickly sing this song. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Watching and waiting is Jesus is calling, calling for sinners, come home, come home, come home. He is weary, come home. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for sinners, come home, come home, come home, he who is weary, come home. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for sinners, come home. Jesus wants you home. He wants you with him. And another scripture in Isaiah 30 verse 15 says, he said, this is what the sovereign Lord, the only one of Israel says, in repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength, but you have none of it. We pray in PHH that you have all of it, so that you have in repentance and rest, you come to God in your quietness, and you have peace of mind, and you have your strength. You trust the Lord, and you have your strength. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we will bless you. We give you praise. We give you adoration for all our friends all over the world through this broadcast. We say, be thy exalted. Bible says we are glad unto us when they say let us come into the house of the Lord because this is your house we are excited in your presence Lord we say be that exalted in Jesus name we commit our brothers and sisters that want to come home they are weary they are tired they want to to know you more Lord they want to come into you in repentance Lord we pray oh God that you bring them to yourself in Jesus name Lord you will draw men unto yourself you will draw our brothers and sisters unto you, and they will come to know your saving grace. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Welcome, friends, to PHH. PHH is a fellowship. We meet every weekend. We are non-conventional, non-judgmental, worshipers on our way to his presence. We are not pastors, and we are not bishops. We are ordinary citizens of heaven with an extraordinary God. God is our focus and our aim is to invite you to this God, to know this God yourself and have a relationship with him. We believe the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, 
the God of Isaac and the God of PHH will do you good in Jesus' name. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In John 14, 6, it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Jesus is the way to the Father. He's the way to our heavenly home, our final destination. Amen. Hallelujah. And friends, if you're a child of God, if you have made Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, he promised to lead you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. He is your leader, the shepherd of your soul. As long as we follow him, he will lead us home to our father's house where there is abundance of peace and joy and health and treasures and everlasting life. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I pray you be ours and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be a prayer when we lose our way. Lead us to a place, guide us with your grace to a place where we'll be safe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And friends, this day, we want to make some declaration over ourselves, over our lives. Amen. Why do we declare? In Job 22, 28, he says, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. And in Psalm 81, 10, it says, for he it was I, the Lord your God, who rescued you from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it with good things. Amen. Friends, we are to speak those things that we want to see, those things that we want to experience. Amen. Even God, he spoke the universe into existence. The universe didn't, didn't just appear. He had to speak it for six days. Amen. So we are to follow the example of our father. And to Today, we want to focus on the Lord leading us. Lead us, oh Lord, hallelujah, to where we are to be, to where we are to go. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. We declare that in this year of 2022, we allow the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to lead us beside peaceful streams according to Psalm 23. Hallelujah. That the Father is a good Father. He will not lead us to places where we will be hurt. He will not lead us to places where we'll be oppressed. He will not lead us to places where we will cry ourselves at night. No. He will lead us to peaceful streams. Hallelujah. We declare that we hear the voice of God. Amen. And that we follow him wherever he leads us. Amen. Holy Spirit, open our spiritual eyes that we may hear the small, still voice of our Father. Hallelujah. We cancel, we destroy every other voices that is not the voice of the Father. We destroy every voice of doubt 
we destroy every voice of belittlement. We destroy every voice of oppression. Hallelujah. And we yield only to the voice of our Papa in heaven. No one will snatch us from the hand of our Father in 2022. We bind the voice of strange gods. We bind the voice of the thief and the accuser of the brethren from our ears and we refuse to follow strangers. We refuse to follow false doctrines, false teachings, false teachers, anything that is false, we refuse to follow. We flee from strange voices in the name of Jesus the Christ and we command every crooked place to be made straight before us in 2022, to be made straight before our children in 2022, to be made straight before our communities, our cities and our nations in 2022. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We bless you. He leadeth me, oh, blessed thought, oh, words we have comfort from what I do where I be still tears, God said that lead than me, he leaded me, he leaded me by his own hands, he leaded me, he's faithful for what I would be for by. He's and he lead than me, he lead than me, he lead than me by his own and he lead than me, he's faithful for what I would be. For by his and he leadeth me. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we give you room. We give you permission today to lead us. Hallelujah. We give you authority over us, over every area of our life. Lead us, oh God. Lead us, Father, in our families. Lead us in our relationships. Lead us in our careers. Lead us in our finances. Lead us in our ministries, oh Lord. Lead us in our service unto you. Oh, be our leader. We thank you. We bless you. We commend every Red Sea before us, hallelujah, before our inheritance, our blessings to be parted in two in 2022. We declare the Holy Spirit will lead us on this journey of life to the land that the Father saw to give us so we may take possession of it in Jesus mighty name in this year we declare that the word of God the testimony of Jesus shall be our guide our compass the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path we declare that we heed to the voice of Jesus and throw out our nets where he tell us to so that we can catch an abundance of fishes in Jesus name. We release wisdom and knowledge from above to lead our family, our finances, our career, our service properly in Jesus name. We pull down and we drive out every Canaanite, Hittite, Perizzites, Jebusites, Ammonites, Moabites, Egyptians, Amorites, occupying our land, our career, our finance, our health, our wealth, our businesses, our ministries in Jesus' mighty name.
Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him all the way. I'll go with him through the garden. I'll go with him through the garden. I'll go with him through the garden. I'll go with him, with him all the way. Hallelujah. Where he leads me. I will follow, hallelujah. And I thank the Lord for being my friend because a friend will lead you in the proper way. A friend will lead you in the right path, amen? I thank the Lord Jesus for being a friend that sticks closer than a brother and he will lead you in the path of righteousness for his namesake, amen? The word of God says in Proverbs 18, 24, a man, who has many friends must himself be friendly, but there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And you may ask Sister Janet, how can a friend be closer than a brother? A brother is someone who is biologically related to me. I don't know if I can have a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Well, guess what? If the Bible says you have a friend that sticks closer than a brother, it is true. It is Jesus. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am that friend, hallelujah. And we bless the Lord today for his friendship, amen. I'm reminded of a young lady who is moving to a new location and she asked twice of many of her friends, can you help me move? Can you help me bring my belongings to one house to another? And she has many friends, but not one of them showed. But I thank the Lord that he is a faithful friend. He's not like those many friends that say one thing and do another. Amen. He is that faithful friend who will always show up, who will always be there for you and will always lead you in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Hallelujah. I want to read in your hearing also today, the gospel of John chapter 15 where Jesus himself talks about being your friend, amen? Starting in verse 14 of the Gospel of John, chapter 15, it reads as follows. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Greater love hath no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father have I made known to you. Hallelujah. Verse 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. Thank you, Lord, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. In that passage, did you notice how many times Jesus called us friends? He continually called us friends in a matter of five verses. That's amazing. I thank God that we're friends as long as we know him as the true and one living God and the savior of the world and the savior of our lives. He said, we can call him friends. That is a miraculous thing. I thank God for his friendship. I thank him for sending his son, Jesus, to be our friends. Amen. Hallelujah. And the, the best part about it is there'll never be a friend as dear as Jesus is to us. Amen. There'll never be another person that is more faithful, that is more true. Everything he promised, he will give to you. He said, 
he talks to his father about you. Hallelujah. And he's made known the things that the father has made known to him. What a friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. So I bless the Lord today for his friendship. Amen. He's faithful. I think of the times where I wasn't so faithful as a friend uh, to Jesus, who I should absolutely have been faithful to every day of my life. I haven't been as faithful as he's been to me. But guess what? He never changes. He's never changed an iota of his faithfulness to us. Thank you, Jesus. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. Morning by morning, he forgives us. He's faithful. And I bless the Lord for his faithfulness. So that's why we're called to be faithful to the Christ, the one who died on the cross for us. Greater love hath no man than this, that a friend would lay down his life for his friends. Amen. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Will you be a faithful friend? Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him all the way. Hallelujah. I'm also reminded of another song. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back, though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world is behind me, and the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? Have you decided? to follow Jesus. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. Friends, that's the best decision you can make in your life to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. He'll lead you in a path of righteousness for his namesake, amen. His word is true. He cannot lie to you. He would never leave you nor forsake you. There's so many promises of God as your friend that why would you not accept him as your friend? There's no reason not to have a friend like Jesus. Amen. He is the only friend that sticks closer than a brother. And trust me, I have a brother and I have three sisters. Nothing would change that in the world in my life. I love all four of them, but I'm certainly glad to have Jesus as my friend, as my joint heir, hallelujah. And I thank him for choosing me and making what's known to him. Sitting at the right hand of the father, he makes known to me. So I implore you today, friends, friends make friends of Jesus, hallelujah. Make your life a friend of Jesus. If you've backslidden, turn your life around. Go back to your friend that sticks closer than a brother. If you never heard of him as a friend, get to know him in his word. If you've received him and you're not quite sure of how you can get to know him better, like that friend who sticks closer than a brother, he'll show you how in his word. Amen. He loves his friends. He loves the people of God. He loves to make known to you what is known 
by him and his father. Amen. Stick close to him. He sticks close to you. Glory to God. So keep those, hide the word in your heart that you might not sin against him and start with Proverbs 18, 25 and John, the gospel of John chapter 15, verses 14 through 19. He's your forever friend. He's better than a BFF. I see that all the time. You're my BFF, best friends forever. Well, guess what? The best friend forever is Jesus. And I bless you. Father, we thank you for your friendship that you've given us with Jesus. We thank you that he is our advocate. He is the only way to you, Father. Jesus, we thank you for your friendship, for your kinship, and for your lordship. We will continue to follow you. We thank you for your example as a perfect friend that will never leave us nor forsake us. So be glorified in our lives. May we be as true to you for the remainder of our lives as you are true to us. Thank you for making your word plain. Thank you for making our paths illuminated. Thank you for all that you've given us in your promises as you've recorded in your word. We trust you as our friend. We believe you as our friend. We give our lives to you because you have been our friend, a consistent friend, a loving friend, a kind and compassionate friend. And we honor you and we give you glory. We give you praise and we reverence you today in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you have a friend in Jesus. And I'm reminded of another song. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble? Anyway, Jesus knows our every weakness. Yes, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do our friends, despite forsake thee, take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus knows our every weakness. Thou will find a solace there. Hallelujah. I thank God that we have a solace in Jesus. Amen. He comforts us when we're lonely. He caresses us with a hug. He's tangible. We can feel his presence as a friend. The closer we get to him as a friend, we feel his tangible presence and we know that he's with us wherever we go. I thank the Lord and I pray that you make him your friend today if you've never had a friend like Jesus, if you've never known him as a friend, if you've only known him as a big God that looks down on little old you, check the scriptures. He's a friend and he wants to know you better. He wants to know you and you need to know him. Amen. He wants to be your forever friend, your BFF forever. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. He's my BFF. And I pray he's your BFF too. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus, our friend forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you as our friend today. Glory be to God. We bless you. We honor you. King of kings and Lord of lords, we exalt you today. We reverence you as the all-consuming fire. You are Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God our healer. You are Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. 
You are Jehovah Sidkenu, the Lord our righteousness. You are the wheel in the middle of a wheel. You are the governor general, hallelujah. The governor, hallelujah, general of our lives. The lover and the keeper of my soul, the sustainer of my mind, the prince of peace, the rose of Sharon, the rock of ages, hallelujah. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the only wise, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent God. We bless you today. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. You are the rock of my salvation. Hallelujah. Give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. You are the wonderful counselor. You are the I am, the I am. You are our friend. You yes. speak closer than a brother. Thank you. Yes. you are the eternal one. Hallelujah. You are the only one of Israel. Hallelujah. You are the Lord that was and his and is to come. Yes. You Thank are the you. fourth man in the lake of fire. Yes. You are the one that sits upon the throne and the twenty and the five others bow down to worship you. They cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And we in PHF we cry holy unto you today. You yes, are Lord. our everything, you are our past, you are our present, and you are in our tomorrow. You are yes, the Lord we can rely on. Yes. You are the one that, that, that stays with us through thick Thank and thin. You. you are the Thank rose you. of Sharon. You are the bright and the monster. You are the rock of ages. You are our all in all. You are Jehovah. You are the King of Kings. You are the Prince of Peace. You are you are you are Shalom. You are our Shalom, our peace in the midst of trouble, in the midst of circumstances and situation. You stay with us. You are you. You promise never to leave nor forsake us. We bless you for your love and for your promises and calling us friends and calling us into your presence today and every day of our life. Yes, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We appreciate you. We adore you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. What a beautiful name you are. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Rose of Sharon. You are the Lion of Judah. You are the I Am that I Am. You are the yes. Holy God of the We will just sing to the new way. You are the best You are the best of all friends of God. Father, you speak close. Any woman, but that I bow to your lordship, I bow to your anxiety, and I bow to your kingship, O God. And I just declare that you are God. Thank you, Lord, because you're my sustainer, you're my helper, you're my lover, you're my companion, you're my father, you're my holy yes. Father. I just yes. thank you. Blessed thank be your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you because you are a good God. You are a perfect father. You are my Abba. You are my Adonai. You are my advocate, the chief cornerstone. You are the almighty God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the all-sufficient one. And the ancient of days, the author of finisher of my fate. You are the author of the eternal salvation. I thank you because you are the beginning, you are the end. You are the God that knows everything from the beginning to the end. Father, we say we thank you. I thank you because you are my hope. You are the bread of life. You are the bread and money star. You are the chief cornerstone. You are the consuming fire. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For you are my rock. You are my armor. You are my shield and buckler. Yes. You are the justifier of my faith. You are my strong tower. You are my present help in times of need. You are my comforter, my provider, my confidence builder, my share leader. You are the cry for Aderoke. You are my best friend. You are my wisdom. You are my everlasting courage, my mediator, the, my battle axe, my deliverer. Yes my defender, my redeemer, my healer. You are my protector. You are full of compassion. You are the God of powerhouse are. You are the invisible God. You are the righteous God. You are the rock of offense. 
You are the trusted prophets. Hallelujah unto your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you today, oh God. We thank you, God, because you are the life and you are the bread of life, oh God. You are glorious in holiness, oh God. And God, you are a worthy king, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. And you are the bishop of our soul, God. You are a battle stopper, oh God. You are the answer, God, to our prayers. And you are an intercessor, oh God. You are the gate for the sheep, oh God. You are the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of Mary, oh God. Thank you, your Alpha and Omega. Oh God, you are the light of the world and you are the Holy One of Israel, oh God. And God, we just thank you today because you thank are you. my daddy and we thank you, God. You are God the Father. You are God the Son. Yes. You are God the Holy Spirit. Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Trinity. Three in one. Almighty. Yes. Victorious. Yes. Glorious God. You dwell in unapproachable light. We worship your majesty. King of the universe. You are worthy to be praised. Our Jesus. best friend. Jesus. Our rock, Jesus. our fortress, our strong tower, our refuge, our king, our lord, the breath of all living. Oh, we worship you. Lion of the tribe of Judah, who is like unto you. Amongst the gods, who is like you. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises always doing wonders hallelujah thank you lord jesus thank you al shaddai thank you king of glory yahweh the battle stopper hallelujah the mighty man of valor you are yeshua amashia the god of righteousness the God that was in the storm, the storm stopper. The God that raised his banner over us that is love. You are the God that raised his standard against the enemy when they rush in like a flood. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You change it not. You are the omnipresent God. You are the omniscient God. You are the omniscient God. You are God that sees and knows all things. You are God that is able to do all things. You are God that honors your words even more than your name. You are God that says we should remind you of your word. You are faithful, Lord. You are our advocate. You are my fortress. You are my buffler. I worship you and I adore you. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, King Jesus. You are my secret place. You are the one who hides me from the plots of men. You make my crooked places straight. You turn my morning into dancing. You turn my night into day and you give me beauty for ashes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Father, you are my maker. You are the potter and I am the clay. You are my shepherd. I lack nothing. I shall want for nothing. You are my leader. You are my manager. You are my boss and my financier, my sponsor, the head of all departments in my life, the head of department of all affairs of my life. You are my guard against all odds my divine guidance. You direct and instruct my life the way it should go. Excellent, wonderful, glorious Jesus. You are my rock, you are my salvation, my stronghold, my shield, and my strong tower in the midst of faith. You are my refuge, my strong foundation. You are my advocate, 
my deliverer, my battle axe, my soul waits on you. My life is dependent upon you. You are my willpower. You are my crew member, my chairman, my captain, excellent savior, mighty in battle, always doing wonders, king of all glory, Lord of all lords, Adonai, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, 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 thank you. Awesome Jehovah, marvelous Savior, I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Speak to my heart, Lord. Give me your holy word. If I can't hear from you, then I don't want to go alone. Just as your spirit dies, speak to my heart, Lord. Speak to my heart, Lord. Give me your holy word. If I can't hear from you, then I don't know what to do. I won't go alone, I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit guide, speak to my heart, Lord. Speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, speak unto us. We don't want to go on our own. Let your spirit guide us. Speak to our heart, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We surrender all. We surrender all. All to thee, blessed Savior. We surrender all. All to Jesus. We surrender. Oh, to him we freely give. We will ever love and trust him in his presence daily. I surrender, we surrender, we surrender. Unto thee, blessed Savior, we surrender all. Father, we come in surrender to your will, your purpose, your leading. We have no power of our own. We have no knowledge of our own or any wisdom to do life by ourselves. We depend on you to lead and direct our path. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Friends, you know, when you, when you purchase an um, appliance or a product, appliances, we're given the manual to it because the owner or the maker is not there to help us to figure it out. So the manual is there to help us to put it together. If we don't have the manual, there's possibilities that we may get it wrong when putting it together. And why do I say this? We may have the knowledge of the products, all products, but for it to function for the purpose the maker intended it for, we need the manual. And sometimes and most times in our lives, we may need our maker to help us to figure out the assembly of some areas of our lives. Why? The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 1.5 that he knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. He knew us before we were born. He had prior knowledge of who and what we will become. Also, we are told in Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6, trust in the law with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. 
So we need to make him our leader. We need our leader, our maker to lead us and show us the path sometimes because he knows the path of every day of our lives here on earth. Do you at times find yourself lost in the unknown? Some areas blocked. Sometimes we have so many choices and yet we still can't make any. And sometimes we make choices and they're the wrong ones. And sometimes we're sure we've made the right choice, but it's totally the wrong one. I don't know how many can relate to this. The Bible says that there are ways that seems right to us, but it ends in destruction. How many times have we made the wrong investment decisions that have destroyed our finances? How many relationships have left us emotionally disrupt? How many friendships have left us disappointed and in pain? At these times of our lives, we need the heavenly manual for solutions. We need our maker. We need him to give us, we need to give him full control to lead and to direct us. Hallelujah. Lead me, Lord. I will follow. Lead me, Lord. I will go. You have called me. I will answer, Lord. Lead me, Lord. I will go. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made a choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made a choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Be it in a quiet passion or by a gentle breeze. The shepherd of my soul is by my side. Should I face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep? The shepherd of my soul, he will be my guide in Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 25 verses 4 to 5 says, Show me the path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me. For you are my God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. I love the amplified version of this. It says, show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and faithfulness and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you, you alone and all together do I wait expectantly and all day long. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus, help us to embrace the pauses in our lives and wait expectantly to follow your next command, to guide us and lead us in your truth. Lead us in your righteousness, oh Lord, for your name's sake. Tell us clearly what to do. Show us the way. Make your way straight before us. Hallelujah. Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. 
Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Do you know the Lord is calling you and I to lead us? I'm sure it's worried that we always struggle to figure it out instead of reaching out to him. So today he's calling you. We could decide and ask him to lead us, to lead us out of sin, to lead us aright, to direct us towards the path of righteousness, holiness, and towards eternity. It's a choice that we have to make, a choice to accept him as our Lord and Savior that he would not do for us. He will not make the choice for us. We have to make it for him to direct, to lead, instruct, and show us the way to go so that we don't get it wrong. But once we've decided and made the choice, then he will step in and lead us from there on. Hallelujah. I'm tired of trying to figure it out. I'm tired of being led by others who sometimes may find it difficult in their own path. So if you're tired like me, if this is something that you would like to explore or to figure out, won't you please say this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, you are the porter. You are the maker and I, I am the clay. You knew me before I was formed in my mother's womb. You put me together. I know you have the manual to lead me and will direct my steps. Forgive me for all the times I've led myself. Forgive all of my sins and my shortcomings. From today, I give you full control. I surrender my all to you. Lead me, Lord. Direct me. Instruct me the way to go. And I will follow. When you say go right, grant me the grace to obey. When you put a stop to my steps, Father, grant me the patience to endure the weight. Above all, Please write my name in the book of life so I may be with you in paradise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Welcome and welcome to the household of faith, where we are led by faith and not by sight. We are happy to be here. At, we are happy for you here at PHH. And we know that the heavens is rejoicing over the choice that you've just made. Please find a Bible-believing church and start to read your Bible. To stay strong in the journey of obedience that you just started. And in following the master's leading for the rest of your life. You can also reach out to us at Powerhouse Hour through our email address, ihelptoinspire at gmail.com or on our website www.phhworld.com or on any of our social media platforms listed in the description box. Hallelujah. You know, we love you here at PHH, but remember, Christ loves you more. Hallelujah. Lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Lead me, Lord, and I will go. You have called me, and I have answered. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, I have answered, Lord. Lead me, lead me, lead me, Lord. I will go. Amen. May this decision that you have made, may it work for you in the name of Jesus. May you receive grace to be able to continue to be obedient to the master. He knows best. He knows all that we are because he knew us before we even came into existence. 
he knew us before our fathers and our mothers came together. So who best is there to lead us a true life except him? I pray today that as you have given your life to him, you will not look back in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rejoice with you. I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm glad that you have decided to make Jesus your BFF, your best friend forever. Hallelujah. 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 I want to sing a song. I want to sing a song, a lovely song, because he said that, where he, that he has prepared a place for you, and wherever he goes, he will take you with him. So I'm going to sing this lovely song. I love the song so much. Amen. Jesus, you are Alpha, Alpha and Omega. Jesus, you are Alpha, Alpha and Omega. So I praise him for his Alpha. Alpha and Omega, so I praise him for his Alpha. Alpha and Omega, like him I want to be, to be forever. Like him I want to be, to live forever. So I praise him for his Alpha. Alpha and Omega, so I praise him for his Alpha. Alpha and Omega. Like Jesus, I want to be, to be forever. Like Jesus, I want to be, to live forever. So I praise him for his alpha, alpha and omega, so I praise him for his alpha, alpha and omega, amen, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, I just want to read a few scriptures for us in the word of God, in Matthew eleven twenty eight. this resonates with me so much, so much, it means a lot to me. It says, come unto me, all you who labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. There is only one who can give you rest, and that is the Lord Jesus, whom you have made the Lord and Savior of your life. Guess what? Your friends cannot take your labor. Your parents cannot carry your labor. No one can carry your labor. The only one who can carry your labor is the one who has your man, who, who has the manual of your life, who has the blueprint of your life. So he says, wherever, wherever he leads you, you follow him. He is the way. He is the way. You have made him your best friend, and he's a friend that sticks better than a brother. God, wow, we give God the praise, we give God the glory. And he has even told me to tell you some things in his word, in that manual that my sister talked about. He told me that I should tell you some things and I'm going to read them to you now. He said to me that I should tell you in Psalm 32 verse seven to eight. He said, I should tell you that thou art my, that he is your hiding place. He said that he will preserve you from all trouble. He said that, it will, it will guide you and it will teach you the way to go. It will instruct you and it will teach you in the way to go. Wow. So he's an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. He's a marvelous God. He has been awesome in our midst tonight. We worship you, Jehovah. You are awesome in our midst, almighty God. You are awesome in our midst. Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise. 
to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in our midst, mighty God. Thank you for fellowship with, being with us tonight. Thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. And you can contact us on any of our social media handles, on Facebook, on uh, Instagram, also on our website, www.phhworld.com. You can also contact us on ihealth2inspire at gmail.com. Please feel free to join us and have a marvelous week. The peace and the grace of God will be with you as to journey in this new week. The almighty God will cause his face to shine upon you. He will be gracious unto you and he will lead you in the path of righteousness. He will lead you in the path of truth. He will be your guide. He will be your best friend forever. Hold on to him, study his word, find a Bible believing church where you can grow in your faith, where you can grow in your knowledge of the almighty God. We love you at PHH, but guess what? Jesus loves you more. Have a lovely week and stay blessed. We love you, we love you. <laughs>